what's up everyone and welcome to another movie review. I haven't done one in like what two weeks so I'm back. I'm back. So this time I am taking a look at The Hunger Games Catching Fire which came out a few days ago. I saw it a couple days ago and I'm finally here to review it. I've been busy the last couple days with you know personal stuff so I'm here to finally review it. So what did I think of the sequel to The Hunger Games, the second one in the series of well like there's three books there's gonna be four movies so it's the second second movie. Uh, so what I think of The Hunger Games Catching Fire, let's talk about the story. The story for The Hunger Games Catching Fire follows Katniss Everdeen, played by Jennifer Lawrence once again, who after winning the last Hunger Games with PETA, played by Josh Hutcherson once again, which is unusual because it's usually just one person that wins The Hunger Games, but this time it was two. After they both won, they pretty much become mascots, pretty much servants of this government, the guys that pretty much make The Hunger Games happen and separate people into different districts so of course she doesn't want to be she has to smile and wave to all the starving people and she she doesn't want to do that she wants to help as you know the, as the best the best she can but she can't of course because if she does you know problems happen let's just say so later in the film she gets sent into another hunger games of course it's unfair because she already won but this time this new hunger games is going to be made up of the victors of previous hunger games that are still alive so a bunch of hunger games victors are going to be in one stage everybody's going to fight for you know you know people are going to die it, you know, that's a story. <laughs> I'm not going to explain stories. I'm, I'm terrible. But that's as good as it's, it's, it's a good game. And also, if you can't tell, I actually don't feel very good. Uh, I have a sore throat, runny nose. The only, I'm, I'm pretty tired, to be honest. But hey, I'm going to do these reviews because, hey, that, that you know, I, I need to do them. So I'm doing them. So the story here, I actually really liked. The first movie had a really good story, but what I felt was a little bit... A little bit disappointing was that it spent a lot of times with the Hunger Games, the the part with the tournament, of course, which is fine, that's great. But there was a lot of times where I just wanted the characters to interact and actually get to know one another. And I didn't feel that with PETA or Katniss when they got together. Didn't feel that at all. Here you actually get to see more of that. You get to see why they like each other. You get to see Katniss uh, have some chemistry with other characters and stuff. You actually feel the the bond kind of form with some of these characters and I really like that also the villains in the last movie were, were really lame here now you have Philip Seymour Hoffman coming in and you also have Donald Sutherland from the first film and they are evil 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 dudes and you hate them they are perfect villains because hey those are the guys that will kill anybody just by saying something weird just saying something they don't like they will have people ordered I mean people executed just because they want to so they're evil dudes and I like that they actually show them being evil which in the first film I didn't really see too much so I really like that I think the story here is a little bit more well told I think it's written better the dialogue is better the characters there's more of them and they're actually more likable so hey there you go I think the story is an improvement also the acting is phenomenal in this film it was great in the first film but here you get more characters you get more lines you get more dialogue between characters like I said so you get to see some of the acting talents from some people like Elizabeth Banks in the first film I found her likable but she was kind of forgettable too she was likable and forgettable at the same time she's also just there to be weird and I didn't feel like she had much of a character here she does she actually kind of breaks down and she's like you know she she emotes sometimes which I, I like so her character is actually more likable I think Woody Harrelson is awesome in this film I think Josh Hutcherson does a way better job in this than he did in the first film I thought Liam Hemsworth even though he's barely there was likable and of course Jennifer Lawrence was awesome also the supporting cast is great as well especially Sam Cleflin I think that's his name who plays Finnick O'Dare a contest in the hung a contestant in the Hunger Games and I thought he was so good in this which is very surprising because other films I've seen him in like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 4 and Snow White and the Huntsman I thought he was very mediocre in those here he's actually really cool he's pretty much Aquaman many people have said that but you know that's pretty much what he is he is awesome so if you want to make an Aquaman movie you got it cast that guy he's cool I like him so there you go there's the acting everything is Overall, I think the Hunger Games portion of this film, even though it, I think it's shorter than the last film, I can't really remember, but I know, I know it was a bigger portion of the last film. Here it's like a, maybe a 30, 40 minute segment. 
I thought it was really well done, especially since they didn't have the cameras all shaky and annoying. And I also thought the special effects were much better in this film. Even though they're not amazing, they're still much better than they were in the first film. Uh, just that shaky camera in the last film, even though I still liked the action, I could I could tell what was going on. It was a little annoying at times. Here, when, the, when there's action, the camera is planted right there. It doesn't move too much. It might move like, do this. Like, oh, well, look at that action going. It doesn't do this. You know, it, it's not paranormal activity where shit's just like moving around and you don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, so the action is way, way better in this film. The special effects are better. It's a more enjoyable film. It's very emotional. The characters are likable. I really love The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I think it is a perfect sequel. Well, not perfect. A, a, a better sequel, a better movie than the first film. I think it is really good, very well done. The characters are likable. I really enjoyed it, and I cannot wait to see the next one because the ending... Oh boy, that ending. I can't wait. So, there you go. There's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh wait, I didn't give it a score. I'm going to give it a 37 out of a 40. I really enjoyed it. There you go. There's my review. Thank you and goodbye.